Are you ready to crush your cravings in 2021? I'm Angela and I am going to talk about that today in this video, but in case we haven't met yet, I am Angela and I am a registered nurse with over 20 years of experience and a certified health coach and I help women over 40 to get their health back. So I have four tips that are going to help you to crush your cravings and half of them have to do with your gut health. So number one is to increase the good bacteria in your gut. Our bacteria, our microbiome in the gut has a lot to do with our overall health and that also corresponds to our cravings and what our body is asking for. So if we have a good number of good bacteria in our gut, we have a better chance of not having cravings. I'm going to talk some more about specific cravings in just a minute and a minute and what they can signify. But to increase your good bacteria, you can take a really good quality probiotic and I'm going to link a couple in my description box here. So look there for some good ones to check out or you can eat some fermented food. You'll need to have a variety of those fermented foods and about two or three servings a day on a regular basis. Swapping them out, keeping the variety up. The second tip that I have for you is to reduce the number of unsuitable bacteria and bugs in your gut. So they're not necessarily bad, they're not conducive to improving your health and reducing your cravings. So we want to lower the amount of yeast especially that we have in our gut. So we all have some yeast, but a lot of times what can happen is we can have an overgrowth of yeast. That can cause you to have cravings specifically for sugar and cheese and wine and also beer but especially wine cheese and sugar so if those are some foods that you just crave that you feel like you need in in the idea of not eating those foods makes you uncomfortable it can actually have to do with yeast it has nothing to do with your willpower if it's the yeast so what you can do is take caprylic acid. So I'll link to that in the description so that you can check that out and learn some more about it and decide if that's an, an idea, something that you wanna try. But that definitely, in my own experience, when I started taking caprylic acid, I noticed that my cravings really decreased and it happened rather quickly so I was doing other things before I started um, but I feel like that is a really key to helping me to crush my cravings so caprylic acid is my second tip but also I will just share that a couple of other things that you can use for improving your gut bacteria um, especially if you're having bloating and other kinds of gastrointestinal issues that um, may be because of your gut bacteria is um, oil of oregano. Uh, you can get that in a capsule. And also grapefruit seed extract. That's another supplement that's in, in a capsule that you can try um, that those are good for improving your gut bacteria by reducing the unhealthy ones, the ones that are not helping you. And my third tip that's really important for helping you to crush your cravings is that you've gotta have a good night of sleep. Every night on a regular basis, get to bed at the same time, waking up on a regular schedule and finding ways to sleep better. If you're having trouble sleeping, and a lot of women over 40 do, if you're having trouble sleeping, I have a video on that as well, so I'll link to that. 
but um, getting a good night's sleep is going to help your hormones to be in a better balance. It's going to help you to have your cravings um, under control because you will be thinking more clearly and feeling more in control of your willpower. Um, willpower can have a factor to play, but there's so many other things too that are at play. Um, but getting good sleep can help with that. Um, it helps with the ghrelin and the leptin, and those are your hunger hormones. So they get out of balance if you're not sleeping well. So that's why it's really important that you do. And the fourth way that you can crush your cravings is to get at the root thought that is creating that craving in you. So our mind, our mind is not in control. It is in control, but we can be in control of our mind. So our mind thinks these thoughts and believes things if we don't direct it. And so it can be really difficult, I will admit, it can be really difficult to change the beliefs and to redirect our thoughts, but it's possible. And I have a whole playlist of videos where I talk about those, about crushing cravings, and that's also how I coach my clients. So if that's something that uh, you find, you need to also address your thoughts if these other fixes are not enough and you know, maybe you know that it's your thoughts, then reach out to me and we can chat about that. So if this video has been helpful for you, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that you can continue to get support to help you to crush your cravings and to get your health back. Until next time, bye for now.